Hello everyone, just thought I'd bring you up to speed with the uh, the latest uh, progression for making circuit boards and testing the circuit boards for Swindon Panel. Um, what i got here is all the prototype circuit boards required to make Wooden Bassett West work, um, which will be our first uh, trial site as it were to uh, to make sure everything's functioning correctly. So we've got uh, the blue boards are input boards here. The uh, Smaller green boards are the output boards. They feed the indications. Um, they will actually be uh, a um, green boards once we get them. And then the larger boards are the flashing boards, which uh, create the flashing indications for us. Uh, they're going to be red boards when we get them, just so we can differentiate the colours. Finally, the little um, little unit at the end is the flashing unit. That's the that's the synchronization to make sure that all our flashing indications flash at the correct time. Um, I've got my tiny junction panel here that I made up before, which I've been using to test all the circuit boards, and I've rigged up to a couple of the signals at um, Wooden Bassett West now. So uh, the uh, signal switch there and the signal that you see is based on 764 signal and the points are based on four five six points we can see our flasher working if we look at our points indications if i go to the computer and i interrupt the detection for the reverse position which is where they are at the moment you can see that we get an outer correspondence uh, flash with our points you might be able to get both into view so you can see that it's uh, based on the uh, blue led one of the indications will be synchronized with that. And then finally with the setup we've got the TC64s. These are the main interface to the um, simulator system. Um, they take all the uh, computer controls, the commands and uh, the panel inputs and interface them to JMRI. As you can see they're linked to the boards with ribbon cable. So just uh, a quick look at this actually working. I've put the point switch in now, so we can see if I uh, lock the points, the lock light comes on. Swinging the points to the other position, the uh, other lock light comes on quite realistically. And uh, this is my entrance switch, we can set uh, the routes either way. Like so. Uh, these two switches at the bottom here I've actually rigged up to the uh, automatic um, signals between Halavington and Wooden Bassett West. As you can see on the panel at the moment, the, uh, the signals SNU3 and UB89 are both uh, replaced to the red position. I can flick these switches to uh, change them. So that was the uh, UB89 signal. If I turn the, turn the switch to uh, give it a proceed position and put it back to danger and you can see the aspects below of what the signal would actually be showing on the ground based on our um, based on our work to uh, simulate them one other thing that's worth mentioning is that uh, I've got two computers rigged up to this at the moment I've got my main computer here as well although I haven't got a JMRI um, open on it or the panel open on it but um, what is uh, important to note is that everything I do on that computer will also be shown on this computer. We can operate it from any computer. So we can plug multiple computers into this uh, JMRI and LocoNet setup to control them, to control something. A good example will be, if I could get my mouse to work, finding a space to operate it on is the biggest trick. If I change to uh, sensors, and go up to sensor one. Now sensor one is the uh, WKNR, the points indication switch. So at the moment it's uh, sh showing as um, thrown it says, so not closed. Uh, sorry, inactive, where are we going up there? Here we go, it's inactive. If I make it active by clicking up there, you'll see that we'll get a uh, normal points indication light come on here. And not only that, if we look at all the other points that we've got, say at Wooden Bassett West, you'll see their points indication light is now on. If I click on this other computer, you'll see they go out straight away. 
clicking it again, they come straight on. So both the computers talk to each other via the loco net and um, there's not really any limit as to how many computers we can have on it. So we can have multiple computers that are running the train simulation, the train describer, um, and that the two separate east and west interlockings will all be integrated via the loco net. Hope that's um, been an interesting video for you all. Next time we see this, it should all be uh, installed in the back of the panel and uh, working at Wooden Bassett West. Thank you.